Thank you, Madam Speaker. The gentleman from Maryland talked about protecting this institution or talked about this institution, but we got a $40 billion bill at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't had a chance to review the bill. My staff is pouring over the pages trying to see what's in it. You want to talk about the institution? You want to talk about standing up alongside Ukraine? Why don't we actually have a debate on the floor of the People's House instead of the garbage of getting a $40 billion bill at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Not paid for, without having any idea what's really in it, with a massive slush fund that goes to the State Department, $13 billion, $8 billion for the Economic Support Fund, $110 million for Embassy Security. We've got $40 billion that is unpaid for, and you want to sit here and lecture this body about what we're going to do or not do about standing alongside Ukraine? Why don't we talk about the American people who are hurting, the wide open borders, the inflation that's killing people, the jobs that people can't get because of the cost of goods and services in this country. Sitting here and being lectured to when I don't even have time to look at a $40 billion unpaid bill. I make a motion to adjourn. Outside a Denver Human Services office, staffers and volunteers with Food Bank of the Rockies set up a mobile pantry. A wide menu of food items is prepared to be distributed to people in need, some of whom are lined up in their cars already. Thank you. A rise in opposition to the Ukrainian supplemental bill, $40 billion. But there's no baby formula for American mothers and babies. An unknown amount of money to the CIA in the Ukraine supplemental bill Empty shelves. Oh, this is really scary. And worried parents. A couple stores we've been in, we have not had it, and we've had to go to the next location. They are looking for baby formula and not finding it, at least not easily. I am myself am down to one can of formula. But there's no formula for American babies and mothers. $54 million in COVID spending in Ukraine. But there's no formula for American babies and mothers. $900 million for nonprofits and organizations in Ukraine. But there's no formula for American babies and mothers. The brutality of Putin is not just what he's doing in Ukraine, but the impact that, his, that it is having on food for the world. So when you're home thinking, what is this all about? Just think about when I was hungry, you fed me, in the Gospel of Matthew.
in 16 years. It'll be the year 2000. He'll be 19 years old. What happens if every tax dollar that we pay, 50 to 60 percent of us, just going to pay the interest on the debt? He will be paying for what we lived on. We should be investing to allow him to be able to live on something. Joe Biden wants an immediate budget freeze, a constitutional amendment to limit spending, and a fair tax bill to guarantee our children's future. Delaware's own Joe Biden.